for months, the city of Salem has been trying to find more sites to open micro shelter villages for the homeless. And now the city council there approved three new locations, but only enough funding for one. Lindsay Nadricks looked into what's planned and what's next as Salem tackles the homeless crisis. Lindsay. Well, this lot here across from Safeway at Center and 13th is one of the approved locations. The idea is to put 40 micro shelters in this field with a fence around them. Each shelter can house two people, but I learned that still doesn't come close to what's needed. Our annual point in time count is this week. We believe there's going to be over a thousand people who are interviewed this week. We have over 400 people on our wait list for a micro shelter. 400 people are waiting for a spot to open up in one of the two micro shelter villages Church of the Park currently manages. That's why Pastor DJ Vincent says they hope to eventually open eight, but says they'll start with the three new sites approved by the city council. We see hope um, just grow as someone has a locked door so they can get the rest they need to restabilize. Then we're providing the, the food and the sanitation they need. Then we connect them with a case manager to start working on their next steps. The first new site won't add any additional capacity, though. Instead, the city will be relocating the current homeless village near the former DMV building on Portland Road Northeast. And so far, funding has only been approved for that. I think that many would love to immediately support all three sites from an operational standpoint. I think the city is taking a look at what they can afford to do and what they can afford to sustain. City of Salem homeless liaison Gretchen Bennett says it costs $1,600 a month per person. And people immediately ask me, well, for that much, maybe we can just afford an apartment. And you know, that's true, but there are some people who really benefit from coming into a place of safety and security and the navigation support and the skilled case management of folks who can help people steady and stabilize and be ready for that apartment. Well, the city is still deciding which location to use first. They plan to take community input and have meetings scheduled this week. If you want to weigh in, we have a link on coin.com. Reporting live in Salem, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.